Today we are going to talk about bad breath or halitosis in relation to tonsil stones. By now we understand how important tonsils are. They form part of the immune system, so they have lymph nodes that will contain uh, cells that will help in fighting the infection. It prevents any entry of a pathogen through the mouth or through the nose. They are very strategically placed. Now, how do tonsil stones form? Now, what usually happen is you have crevices. If you have those crevices, what will happen is when you're chewing or you're eating something, you might get some debris getting to those crevices and they build up. And because the mouth will contain bacteria, they will find a good place to breed. So they'll get there, they'll start uh, building up and growing. Then they form something very, very important because they want to protect themselves so that they can live longer. They form what we call biofilms. Now, biofilms will uh, help in protecting the bacteria from external actions, like for example, the saliva or the immunity. So they are going to protect themselves inside that debris that's already formed there. Now, after formation of that, um, what you call biofilm, th that whole thing will calcify and uh, that calcification will form what you call tonsil stones. Now, how do you get bad breath from those stones? Now, remember, we mentioned that you have bacteria in those stones. The bacteria there, you definitely know that you have bacterial activities, will um, convert some of the compounds to others. So one of the byproducts will be gas, like uh, sulfur. And uh, that sulfur will be what uh, someone will smell from your mouth in case you maybe you breathe in their nose. Or maybe you can even feel that on yourself. And uh, this is because of the activity of that bacteria. We have several of them and uh, they are just doing their work there. So how do you get rid of them? It's easy. Actually, you can just do that on your own unless they are complicated or they are frequent. And so long as you have those crevices, you are prone to getting those stones. So the best thing for you to, is to learn how to remove them. You get something soft like a cotton swab. Don't be too harsh on that because sometimes if you injure yourself, it usually take longer for you to heal in the mouth because of the flora that's already there or you can just introduce a new infection. So try to be very gentle when you're removing those stones. And in case maybe it's complicated, you can just go see a dentist. They are going to help you in removing those stones. Now, this is a very good hack that you can always uh, be using. Now, gargling your mouth with the salty water, warm salty water will help because salts will limit the growth of some of the strains of bacteria, like the gram positive, so they are not going to grow there. And uh, by just gargling your mouth, you're going to limit their growth of some of the activities, and that's why you usually temporarily fix that situation. So long as you have crevices in your mouth, you're prone to getting those stones more frequently. So the best thing is just take care of yourself. Keep uh, looking at where they are and then removing them every now and then if you are comfortable doing that on yourself. Gaggling your mouth with uh, mouth washes, uh, warm water that contains salt will uh, fix that problem. Thanks for watching. In case you like what we are doing here, you can just give us a like and uh, subscribe and uh, share to those people who are interested in what we are doing. See you in the next one.